something. So um, we can begin um, by welcoming you to um, Epiphany Sunday at the United Church of Underhill. Pastor Jen is still on vacation. This is her last day. She'll be back in the office tomorrow. So this morning's services will be brought to you by Sandy, Robin, Noreen, myself, and Tracy on the big board. So um, let's begin with some announcements. Um, let's see. We still have, if you are in need of some help for any reason, either mental health with anything that's going on your life, in with your life. Here's a list of people you can contact for assistance. Um, next week, um, Pastor Jen will be back. We'll be having a communion service for rest for renewal. On the 17th, we'll be having Mary Streeter um, as a guest speaker for Sabbath amid struggle. And on the 24th, we will be looking at rest and reflect. Um, also that day at 11 a.m., there will be a virtual annual meeting. So I hope you all mark that on your calendar. Um, the reentry team um, continues to suspend um, use of the church for people of um, multifamily events. Um, if you do need to go into the church for any reason, please continue to wear a mask, um, sign the contact log, and follow all the instructions that are listed there. The Clutter Barn is still online with their sale, so if you haven't visit the, visited that yet, be sure and do that. Um, with Epiphany, Today, we are going to be looking at um, the star words that we received in our Advent bag. Um, mine happened to be very applicable for today. It's sad, Sabbath and inspire. So it fits what I'm doing today. Um, if you don't have your cards with you, this would be a good time to go out and see if you can find them. If you have lost them or misplaced them or thrown them away, um, you can go on mute to chat. And there is a link there to- um, There will be a link. It's what? There will be a link within the star, um, the star word session, like- Okay. So I'll, I'll share that link. Okay, so you will be able to get your, your word then. If you did not get a word, you can still get one this morning. Um, and lastly, I would say, if you have not seen the magnificent Christmas tree out in front of the church, um, I would say that today would be a good day to do that because, because it's Epiphany, um, it will be the last night that it's lit. So it'll be unplugged tomorrow morning. So if you haven't seen it, it is magnificent. Please do so. So with that, um, we will go to the call to worship. Actually, we're going to start with the prelude. And then we'll head to the call to worship. So we, we welcome you to center your hearts around the fact that yes, we are sitting in front of our computer screens and yet we can still come here with hearts full of worship.
I invite you to join me for the call to worship. The Magi had a dream. They dreamed of a Messiah. They dreamed of just rulers. They dreamed of a new day for all people. The Magi had a dream, and this dream led them to action. They journeyed to unknown places. They followed a star. They walked for days to get to Jesus. The Magi had a dream, and this dream led them to action. They journeyed to unknown places. They followed a star. They walked for days to get to Jesus. So may we be like the Magi. May our dreams inspire action. May we worship the one true God. Amen. I invite you to join me in the first hymn, Arise, Your Light is Come. On mute. The peace of Christ be with you. And also, and also with, you. with you. Also with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, everyone. You can take yourself off moot. Peace, peace, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Peace be with you. New Year. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Mark. Peace be with you, everyone. All right. I'm just trying to find my prayer. I had it right here. There it is. This is a prayer of illumination. God of the Milky Way. We, like the Magi, are walking toward you. One foot in front of the other, we are walking toward you. 
It is our very prayer to move your way. So if you can, leave the light on and the front door unlocked. Leave a fire in the hearth and food on the stove. And when we start to get lost or doubt our dreams, give us the will to persevere. We are walking toward you, O oh God. So like the parent that throws open the door, open the door to us through this text. Amen. Hey, Sandy, your mic is in and out. Can you start again for us? Arise, shine, your light has come. The Lord's glory has shone upon you. Though darkness covers the earth and gloom the nations, the Lord will shine upon you. God's glory will appear over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to your dawning radiance. Lift up your eyes and look all around. They are all gathered. They've come to you. Your sons will come from far away and your daughters on caregivers' hips. Then you will see and be radiant. Your heart will tremble and open wide because the sea's abundance will be turned over to you. The nation's wealth will come to you. Countless camels will cover your land, young camels from Midian and Ephraim. They will all come from Sheba carrying gold and incense. And from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Sandy, would you mind if I read your mic is really cutting in and out? Would you oh, mind? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. That's quite all right. These are just our great stories of our faith. So let us listen to Matthew 2, verses 1 through 12. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in the territory of Judea during the rule of King Herod, Magi came from the east to Jerusalem. They asked, where is this newborn king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and we've come to honor him. When King Herod heard this, he was troubled and everyone in Jerusalem was troubled with him. He gathered all the chief priests and the legal experts and asked them where the Christ was to be born. They said, well, in Bethlehem of Judea, for it is it is what the prophet wrote, you Bethlehem land of Judah, by no means are you least among the rulers of Judah because from you will come one who governs, who will, be sh who will shepherd my people Israel. Then, then King Herod secretly called for the Magi and found out from them the time when the star had first appeared. Herod sent them to Bethlehem saying, Go, search carefully for this child, and when you have found him, report back to me so that I too may go and honor him. When they heard the king, they went and look, the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stood over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother. Falling to their knees, they honored him. Then they opened their treasure chest and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Because they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they went back to their own country by another route. Friends, God is still speaking. Thanks be to God. This morning, our meditation is provided by Abby and her rendition of We Three Kings.
Now is the time that we pause the video and lift up the prayers of our church community. Please feel free to either unmute or share a prayer. We'd like to invite Tracy to return to the recording as and um, invite you to join me in prayer. It is a prayer practice in churches all over the world to give people a star word on this Epiphany Sunday. There are many reasons behind this tradition. First, we know that the Magi followed a star, which ultimately led them to Jesus. Therefore, we too use all the resources we have available to us, including creative prayer practices and intention words for the new year to move closer to Jesus. Secondly, we trust that God uses multiple ways to guide us and speak to us. Star words are one such lens that might provide us with a way to look for God in our midst, both actively and in hindsight. Finally, we know that the most common prayer practice for many involves speaking to God as opposed to silence or contemplation. However, this prayer practice invites a new prayer rhythm of reflection and review that can be a powerful new way to connect with God. So in just a moment, you will be invited to draw a star word. However, as we prepare our hearts and minds for the centering moment, let us pray. God of starlight, there has always been something holy about stars for us. We wish on them. We look for them. We celebrate when we see them streaking across the sky on summer nights. We map out their designs and consider glimpses of the Milky Way holy enough for bare feet. There has always been something holy about stars. We know that. We know that. You know that. The Magi must have known that. So today we come to you in prayer, trusting that if you can paint the stars in the sky, then surely you can hear us over the noise. So first we pray for people wishing on stars. We pray for those whom 2020 was a year full of hospital rooms and isolation. We pray for those who lost love in 2020. We pray for those who lost life in 2020. We pray for those who lost a job, a home, or a sense of hope in 2020. We pray for parents forced to homeschool children in 2020 and for children who missed their friends in 2020. We pray for the milestones canceled in 2020 and for the breath that was stolen in 2020. However, at the same time, we also say a prayer of gratitude for all the stars you have left for us this last year, the signs and mile markers of hope on the horizon. For example, we could not have survived without the birthday parades and the sidewalk chalk. And oh, how we needed the slower schedule and the family around dinner tables. We thank you for the gifts of technology backyard gardening, and sourdough bread. We thank you for every variety of essential workers from grocery store clerks and teachers to internet technicians and doctors. We thank you for the quiet that came with less cars on the road and less planes in the sky. We thank you for protesters demanding justice for leaders like the late John Lewis, who refused to give up on a broken system. In so many ways, 
2020 was a turbulent year. And in so many ways, you were there, leaving stars in the sky, painting hope on the horizon. So today in this new year, we ask that once more, you would give us a sign. Pour out a double portion of your spirit on these star words so that these ordinary slips of paper might provide a glimpse of something more. For the Magi, we are seeking you. Like the Magi, we are looking up. Like the Magi, we need a sign. Guide our feet. Show up in the mundane and the extraordinary. Be in the stars, in the sky, and in our everyday lives. Hear our prayers. We are hopeful, oh God. We are hopeful. And so, with the confidence of children wishing on stars, we pray the prayer you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. At this time, if you have your star words that were included in your Advent package, take this moment to choose one. If you did not receive star words, or if they've been lost in the Christmas shuffle, I'm gonna put a link in the chat that will lead you to a spinner. And you can click the spinner as many times as you want and it will give you a star word for today's meditation. And here comes the link. It's long, but go ahead and click on it. And if you have more than one person in your family, you can click on it more than one time. But take a moment now so that everybody has a star word to move through this new year. If you would like, you can put your star word in the chat and share it with others, or you can keep it um, to yourself. Friends, we have been seeking, but God is here. Thanks be to God. So does everybody have a prayer, or sorry, a star word? And I can't tell you how hard it's, it has been for me not to say star wars. <laughs> um, if you do, wonderful. If not, take at your own time, um, click on the spinner and it will give you a star word. God of ink black skies and starry nights. Like the Magi so many years ago, we are here seeking you. Step by step, we have wandered into this hour with the hope of feeling you in our midst. And step by step, you have claimed us, loved us and fed us. Today, we have all drawn star war words. For some of us, these words are full of meaning, challenge, and invitation already. For others, these words are a blank canvas inviting you into our lives. So as a new year dawns, we pray that you would be in our dreams and in our waking. Allow us to use these star words as a tool to see you in our everyday life. May they guide us as the star guided the Magi. May they illuminate your path as light always does. And in a year, 
May we find ourselves here together again with a mouth full of praise for the ways in which you have been present to us. With hearts full to the brim, together we pray. Amen. We now come to the part of our service where we are asked to share our gifts. It's been a difficult year for many. It's been a trying time for our church, but I was recently told by my husband, the treasurer, that we will be finishing our year in a really good financial place due to regular giving for tightening of budgets and for grants that we received. So it is important going into the new year for us to continue with our giving. And I hope that you will share your gifts as we go forward. Um, you can do that online or you can um, send your giving to the church box office, um, which I don't know the number. <laughs> so Bill, could you hop in and share that number? 265. 265. Okay. So let's um, continue with the doxology. Join me on mute in the prayer of dedication. Living God, your radiance shines in the beauty of creation. In Christ your Son, you have given the world eternal light that burns brightly in the midst of darkness. Like the Magi, when you draw us near, we are overwhelmed with joy. Lead us by your Spirit to share your warmth and grace with our neighbors. Let our lives in this new year be an offering. We pray through Christ, the light of the world. Amen. And now we sing together on mute our final hymn, the first Noel, verses five through, uh, three through five.
And as we go forth, let us hear this New Year's benediction. May God who gave us this year and the Savior who walked at our side each day and the Spirit who filled us with life abundant grace the coming year with peace and hope and joy. Amen. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy, New Year. Happy, New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's going to be a good year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We have New lots year. to look forward to this year. <laughs> Happy, happy new year! <laughs> Yay. Star Wars in the uh, chat. That that link to the spinner um, will remain uh, live. It doesn't change. So if if you so desire, you can go return to it and um, take your chances and get a new word or another word. <laughs> change your word if you don't yeah. like it. <laughs> want to know like, what Rob, the meaning of Robin's word what is. Yeah, we had to look <laughs> that up here. <laughs> you looked it up? What does it say? It says, beautiful thinking, goodwill huh. of a speaker. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. So appropriate for you, Dan. Yes. <laughs> you will Thank be you. ready for the annual meeting soon. <laughs> Thank you, worship team, for this wonderful service. Yes. Yes, thank uh, you so much. Oh, it's always a joy to do it. Have a thank good day. Good to see everyone. Have a everyone. great day, everybody. Happy, day. Day. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. <laughs>